hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Wherever you are watching me from, I welcome you back to this channel. I bless you all with the blessings of the Lord. I would like to say a very big thank you for watching my video, liking and commenting. And I especially want to say a very big thank you to you all, my new subscribers. May God bless you. You are really highly welcome to this channel. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your support. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. May God bless you. So in today's video, we are going to be reading from the book of Genesis 25. Yeah, Genesis chapter 25 from verse 29 to from verse 29 to 34 and then we will also read from the same genesis chapter 27 from verse 2 6 7 8 9 17 25 and 27 we really have a lot to discuss today you know so we are going to be discussing about jacob and esau Everyone knows in the Bible how Esau sold his birthright to Jacob, who happens to be. Uh, es Esau was the firstborn, and Jacob was the second. They were twins, but Esau was the one that came out first, and Jacob came out after Esau, you know. And we are going to be discussing how he sold his birthright to his younger brother, which is jacob so the bible made us to understand that esau sold his birthright his inheritance his destiny his future you know everything everything that the lord was supposed to give to him he sold he he sold it to his younger brother just because of food you know i can you can imagine <laughs> that is so funny so without wasting much of our time i would like to start reading now from the book of genesis chapter 25 from verse 29 to 34 then before we can rush down to genesis 27 you know we really have a lot of us to read today but i will not be reading all i will not be reading all so you you will just read it on your own on your own time just find a time to study because it's really so good to have some knowledge from the Bible. You understand? So let me rush down now to the book of Genesis 25, Genesis chapter 25, from verse 29 to 34. Yeah, I, I, I start reading now. He said, One day, while Jacob was cooking some beans, Esau came in, in from hunting. He was hungry and said to Jacob, I am starving. Give me some of that red stuff. That is why he was called Edom. Jacob answered, I will give it to you if you give me your right as the firstborn son. Esau said, All right, I am about to die. What good will my right do me then? Jacob answered, First make a vow that you will give me your right. Esau made the vow and gave his right to Jacob. Then Jacob gave him some bread and some of the soup. He ate and drank and then got up and left. So this was how Esau sold his birthright just because of food, something to eat. Something that he could have prepared by himself. Yeah, I know that he was hungry. He was tired because the Bible said that he came back from hunting, hungry and tired. He saw his brother cooking some food and he requested to eat um, part of the food. Just a little. Can you give me something to eat? I'm hungry. I'm tired, Esau said. But Jacob being so wicked, he was angry because of the the blessing he saw on his brother he was angry because his brother destiny his brother have more star than him so he requested for for the brother to exchange those stars those blessing those great future just for something to eat it's all been very hungry he accepted to exchange his destiny 
for food. You know? Just be very careful what you do when you are hungry. Be very careful in some situation. Just make sure you think about make sure that you think about what you are about to do. See them raising it. Is this thing going to profit me? Is it not going to profit me? Because you might make some mistake just like Esau did in the Bible. I know Esau could have prepared this food by himself. He could have at least drink some water, have some rest, and then before he can proceed to make his food. I know that some food takes time and it's not all food that takes time to prepare. He could have prepared some just easy one to eat, but he decided to exchange his destiny, his future, his purpose, God favor in his life just because of something to eat. He lost his destiny. He lost his future. He lost his purpose. So let's quickly rush down to Genesis because as I said before, I said we are going to uh, be reading so many verses in Bible. So let's not waste much time and let's rush to um, the same Genesis 27 and let's see how Isaac, Isaac was their father. Let's see how Isaac finally gave uh, Jacob the blessing and how Rebecca, their mother, connived with um, uh, Jacob to receive the uh, the blessing from from Isaac, the blessing that was supposed to be Esau's blessing. Rebecca connived with Jacob to receive the blessing, maybe because Jacob was his favorite, Esau was not his favorite. So let's see how it all happened in the book of Genesis 27. Yeah, we'll start from verse 2. It says, Isaac said, You see that I am old and may die soon. Take your, take your bow and arrow. Go out into the country and kill an animal for me. Cook me some of that tasty food that I like and bring it to me. After I have eaten it, I will give you my final blessing before I die. Why Isaac was talking to Esau, Rebecca was listening. So when Esau left out to hunt, this is five. I, I wasn't supposed to be reading five, but I just said, let me read it down to you so you can understand. He said, when Esau went out to hunt, she said to Jacob, I have just heard your father say to Esau, Bring me an animal and cook it for me. After I have eaten it, I will give you my blessing in the presence of the Lord before I die. So 8, 9, and 17. We read chapter 8, 9. Then we we'll rose down to 17. He said, Now my son, Rebecca continued, Listen to me and do what I say. Go to the frog and pick out two fat young goats so that I can cook them and make some of that food your father likes so much. We will we'll continue reading later. Be very careful when someone knows you so much. Be very careful when somebody knows your favorite food, your favorite clothes, your favorite shoes, your favorite hairstyle, because definitely they will use it against you in future. This was exactly the case of Isaac. Rebecca knows the favorite food of Isaac. That was why he told Jacob, go and get me some goats. Let me prepare your father's favorite. Because Rebecca had Isaac uh, talking to Esau. He said to Esau, go and hunt some animals and prepare for me my favorite. I guess Esau knows his father's favorite also, but I believe Rebecca knows it more than Esau because Rebecca was his, uh, Isaac's wife. So Rebecca connived with Jacob to prepare the favorite food of Isaac just to take the blessing of Esau. I don't know the reason why she did it, maybe because it was prophesied by God because when you read before before Genesis 20, uh, yeah when you start reading from the beginning 
You will see that it was prophesied that the first shall become the last. Maybe because it was a prophecy? I don't know. You know? So let's quickly read verse 17 from the same Genesis 27 to see how Isaac finally gave this blessing to Esau. To Jacob, I mean to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for that, to Jacob. So let's read now Genesis 27 from verse 17. It says, she handed him the tasty food together with the bread she had baked. I, I jumped down to 25 now. Isaac said, bring me some of the meat. <clears throat> After I have eaten it, I will give you my blessing. Isaac was talking to Jacob, not Esau, on, on this particular verse. Please, that is why I advise us all to read everything so you will know because I can't read everything. It's really much. I can't just read everything. It will take me much time. I just break it down and select some parts. Reading. Jacob brought it to him and he also brought him some wine to drink. 26. I'm not supposed to be reading here, but let me just put you through. Then his father said to him, Come closer and kiss me, my son. As he came up to kiss him, Isaac smelt his clothes. So he gave him his blessing. Do you know the reason why Isaac smelled his clothes and the reason why he asked him to come closer? Because why? Esau was a hairy man. Esau had a lot of hair in his body. Why Jacob don't have any hair in his body? So Rebecca gave Jacob Esau's clothes and put in the skin of a goat on top of that clothes. Because why? Esau was a hairy man. Why? Jacob was a smooth-skinned man. So the father now asked him to come closer, to touch him, to know if really Jacob was saying the truth. But when Jacob was speaking to Isaac, Isaac noticed that this was Jacob by voice, but this was Esau by touching his skin. You know? My prayer for us today is that God should save us from anything that wants to take our purpose in life away from us, ignorantly or not ignorantly. Because sometimes we do something without thinking about it, without thinking, how is this thing going to end in future? Is it going to be for my good or for my bad? So this was the case of Esau. Esau didn't think. He was just joking. Because I guess we all joke like that. I, I, I can remember when I was a little kid. Sometime your elder will come and ask you, eh, please, can I have this? Jokingly, you will tell this person, okay, before you have this, say that I'm the one that senior you. You know, we, we all did that. But God took it so serious with Esau. We have to be really careful of what we say of our all trances. You never can tell when God will say, okay, this one, I grab it, you know. So let's continue reading. He said, the pleasant smell of my son is like the smell of a fade, fade which the Lord has blessed. May God give you dew from heaven and make your feed fertile. May he give you plenty of corn and wine. May nation be your servant, and may people bow down before you. May you rule over all your relatives, and may your mother's descendants bow down before you. May those who curse you be cursed, and may those who bless you be blessed. Can you just see how Esau lost this great blessing? Just because of something to eat. Or will I say, is it because of laziness? Or maybe because it was prophesied? Because I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This was a great blessing. It was a great blessing. So maybe God has seen that Esau was going to say his birthright just because of common food. 
Because the Bible said that he knows the end from the beginning. It was prophesied. His mother, his mother Rebecca knew about it. You know? I, I, I really don't understand why someone would decide to sell his destiny, his future, his blessing. Can you imagine all the blessings that Isaac gave to Jacob? Those blessings were supposed to be for Esau. And so funny enough is Isaac cannot reverse the blessing because he has, al he has already spoken it out of his mouth. Esau was later crying for the blessing. Father, just give me a little bit of this blessing. But Isaac refused because why? He has already poured out everything to Jacob. It was irreversible. God has already seen it. That was how Jacob took what that was supposed to be Esau to himself. But, you know, there is always a repercussion. A repercussion, yeah, I said so. Jacob finally suffered for it when it was time for him to get married. What he, what he was supposed to labor for, I think in seven years, he labored for it in 14 years. So Jacob wanted to marry Rachel, but the father of Rachel tricked him and gave him the sister of Rachel to marry instead of Rachel, just as Jacob and his mother tricked Isaac to give him his blessing instead of Esau. You know, in life, there is repercussion of everything. Whatever you do in life, you think that God is not seeing you, that you have won, because it, it might be going on well for you now, because you betray your brother, because you betrayed your sister, to be that place that you are. You think that God is quiet. God is smiling at you. He's not smiling at you. There is repercussion for it. You will pass through that same pain that you cost your brother or your sister because of your own selfish reason, because of your own selfish desire, your brother or sister might be passing through pain. You betrayed your sister, you betrayed your brother because of money, because of earthly desire. But don't worry, there is always a repercussion for our decision today. We will have the repercussion tomorrow. This was the case of Jacob. Jacob suffered for 14 good years just to get richer. You know? That is why we have to be careful of everything we do. We have to be careful of our today. Because our life today will determine our tomorrow. In the case of Esau, Esau made a vow. The Bible says it's better not to vow than to vow not to fulfill it. Esau made that vow jokingly, not knowing that that vow was, was, was going to come to pass, not knowing that that vow was going to turn to something else. Whenever you want to say, I vow, I promise, think about what you're about to vow to, what you're about to promise to. Is this thing going to cause my destiny? Is this thing going to cause my happiness? Is this thing going to cause my life? Just have a moment of quietness, think about it, ask God for direction, and I know that he will direct you on what to do and what not to do. You know, sometimes some people will want you to make some unnecessary vow, promise some unnecessary promise, something that they know that the humanly, in, humanly point of view, you can't fulfill this thing. They will, want, they will want you to say it just for you to get some certain things from them. Maybe you are hungry. Maybe you need money. Maybe you need money to go to hospital. Maybe you need money to take care of your children or to take care of your house friends. They want you to make some vow, some promise before they can give you that thing that you are asking for. Just be very careful before you say, yes, I do. That thing might cause your destiny. Some people, their main purpose is not to help you. They might be thinking, or you might be thinking, that yes, they are helping me out of their heart. They are not helping you out of their heart. They have their selfish. They have their own selfish reason of helping you. They may be helping you because of what they know they will get from you. They may be helping you because they know that if I help this one, that thing 
that is waiting for him in future, that is waiting for her in future. I know that if I help him, there is no way you will get there. So we have to sign an agreement. The Bible said that we should be wise like serpents. Some people, they, they, some people, they will help you truly because they want to help you. Why some people, they will help you because of what they know that they will get from you. When you see such people, my brothers and my sisters, please do like this and run away. You know, it's not everybody that said, I love you, really love you. Some people just say, I love you. Because they know that when they tell you that I love you, everybody wants to hear that you love them. They know when they tell you that they love you, you will go and sign one, one million contract for them just because of their own selfish desire. They will, want to, they will want to bring out something in you and they know that they don't mean it. It's just because of what they want to get from you. My prayer for everyone, including me, that God should guide us so that we will not make that kind of mistake that Esau made. Esau lost everything. Esau lost that greatness. Esau lost that, that destiny. Esau lost that great purpose of God in his life because of a common food. I know that he was hungry. Yeah, I understand he was hungry. But at least he could have just settled down and even think of what, what to eat. You can't just eat anything because you are hungry. When you, did, when you eat anything because you are hungry, you might eat poison. Yes? You could have just sit down and try to figure out what he really wanted to eat. Maybe his body, his stomach never wanted that uh, that food that Jacob was preparing. But because of some, would I call it laziness or tiredness, he decided to eat anything. You can't eat anything. You can't eat everything that you see. Be selective. Select, ask your body, my body, what do you want me to feed you with today? Then your body will react. Then you will know, okay, this is what my body needs. So that, that your desire will not go and put you in trouble in future. Let's pray for God to guide our step so that we will not end up in mess in future. Because a lot of us has really made a mistake in life. Majority of us, we are where we are now because of the mistake of our past. Majority of us, we are not supposed to be in that position that you are. But because of the mistake of your past, that makes you to be the place that you are now, including me. You know, maybe this place that I am now is not what God has destined for me to be. But because I was ignorant, I, I, I didn't wait to hear from God, that made me to be here that I am. Let us be prayerful. Let us sincerely ask God, this decision I'm about to make, this thing I'm about to do, is it what you want me to do or is it what you want me not to do? Let us be very careful, be watchful, and be prayerful. May God bless you. May God guide you. May God guide your step. May God lead you. May God direct you. So that you will not make mistake that will cause your destiny. You will not make mistake that will cause your future. You will not make mistake that will make you to regret. I pray for God guide us in our life. Thank you everyone for listening to my video today. I bless you all with the blessings of the Lord. Let us all be watchful. Let us all be watchful because our destiny is really important to us. We all have purpose in life. We all have desire in life. Once you miss that your purpose, it will take the grace of God to, for, that, for, the, for that same purpose to come back again. It will really take the grace of God. Once you miss that little chance, that little opportunity, in your destiny it will take the grace of god i know what i'm talking about before we make some vow before we promise before we sign something let us ask god baba is this what you want is this what you want me to do so that we will not end up making that great mistake in life i want to say a very big thank you all thank you all thank you everyone my new subscribers my viewers everyone may god bless you and may god lead you Thank you for watching this video. May God really bless you. And please don't make mistakes that will cause your future. Stay blessed, remain blessed, and be blessed.
Thank you all. And I will see you all again on my next video. Bye.